What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another modern video here. This was a deck that was commissioned by uh, Brandon W., also known as Force Pitch Force. And if you could not guess, from the 240 cards in the main deck and the 15 cards in the sideboard, this is a Battle of Wits deck. Battle of Wits, for those who don't know, is a five-man enchantment. It says, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. Um... So, what is, it, what is it with your schedules? No, I just haven't. I haven't checked it yet. I have to ask people. I have to figure out what's what. I have to like com communicate with other people, and I just haven't done it because I haven't remembered or I haven't. Uh, I just haven't done it. That's that's the bottom line. So basically, we have two hundred and forty cards in our main deck. The best part about Battle of Wits on Magic Online is that you don't have to shuffle your deck. Also, if you guys are interested in having your own deck critiqued or or checked out by me. It's information in my Twitch profile. You can find the link in the description below. Uh, there's also that feature available on Patreon. You can check that out as well. The link's in the description below as well. And we have... I'm going to put all of the tutor effects that we have in the deck right over here in this pile. So, we also have Gifts Ungiven. And uh, we could... What Do we have a way to get... To get Battle of Wits out of the graveyard if they somehow put it in the graveyard. I guess you just actually, you can Gifts Ungiven for four, tu four different tutors and get it that way. And they have Mastermind's Acquisition too. I think that's all of them. Um, but don't forget, Brain Spoil, for those who don't know, also acts as a tutor because you can transmute it for three mana and go find Battle of Wits with it. So we actually have 36 separate uh separate tutor effects to go find battle of wits which is pretty sweet um additionally like i said you can actually <clears throat> you can cast gifts ungiven you can go get a dark petition a brain spoil a demonic collusion and a final parting for example and you'll you'll be guaranteed to get two of those and then as far as like board wipes we actually have 12 of them for damnation for wrath of god for supreme verdict no Day of Judgment, though. And then four Cryptic Command, because YOLO. Uh, Lingering Souls, Journey to Nowhere. We can also just go Gifts Ungiven for Aleshnorn and Unburial Rites. Or Iona, because that's just a cool combo as well. Felden's Cane, if we have to shuffle things back in. Um, my question is, what happens if our opponents go, like... Turn 1, Thoughtseize, Battle of Wits. Turn 2, Surgical Extraction. That's my question. We have Mana Leaks, Negates, Remands. I mean, because in that situation, a Pact of Negation is not really going to help us. I guess we're just trying to avoid that situation. I don't think that's going to be too common. Everything else is pretty standard. It's basically an Esper Control deck with 240 cards in it. Condemns, Paths, Serum Vision, Sleight of Hand, Fatal Pushes. So... <clears throat> Yeah, that's when you unbear our rights, but then you only have literally this one avenue. So, anyway, that's not the point. The point is we're going to play it in some modern queues. I can't actually guarantee how many changes we can actually make to this deck because it's very large, right? So you could be like, well, I'm going to add Day of Judgments, but then i got to take out... Do you even take out cards? If you want to add, like, four Day of Judgments, do you just go to 246 cards or do you just keep it at... One land is pretty rough. That's better. This hand is great. What do we get with Teleri West? Pact of Negation? That's pretty good. I think we're going to play it here because we want <clears throat> we want our lands here. Oh, it's David. Is it? No, it's not. Is it Big Ounce? Big Ounce, are you? Is that David? I can't tell. I'm going to put this on the bottom. I feel like your name has never been Big Ounce in any of your... In any of your iterations. Oh, Slaughter Pack 2. Yeah, it's a double packed. Two packs. <clears throat> Hashtag two packs. I think at a certain point it does stop mattering what you take out. Like, I feel like if you sideboard, you could probably just add all the cards in. Well, I don't want to... I want to increase my odds. And uh, the statistically, the highest... The best percentage to draw a card is at 240, not 241 or 242. And it's just like, at that point, you're just like... Shut up. Oh, I see. The old signal pest 
Triple Mem Knight Omnithopter Hand. A classic. I guess I'll play land first. Well, that's gotta go. Condemn? Where are my white sources at? We're probably going to Supreme Will here. Yeah, that's not going to increase the clock any. Lingering Journey. I actually just need the Hollowed Fountain, awkwardly enough. Any order. Don't care. <laughs> I guarantee you the order of that is not going to matter. Famous last words, he said. Do we just play this? Go for Battle of Wits. We take one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> and if we hit a land, we get to go. We take five. We go Battle of Wits next turn. We take another five. We go to three, and then we potentially win with B-O-W, bow. Boop. All right, let's see what happens. We do have to hit a land. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a land here, we'd have been in good shape. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. The final countdown. All right, well. Man, full full mana for the old hope of Gearper, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah, tutoring for damnation was also an option, <clears throat> but we take four here. They have five on board though. That's the problem. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I feel like we're like so close. If we hit a land, we probably would have won this game. Does the deck need more lands? I don't know the correct amount. That's pretty good. That's probably the game. <clears throat> 
All right. Stony Silence. Let's bring that in. What are we taking out? Slaughter Pact is probably pretty rough here. Ceremony is also pretty good. Probably take out Pack Navigation. They're not going to really deal any, do anything about us. That seems pretty easy. play first <clears throat> I think the sand is actually pretty good Feldon's cane what a time to be alive oh boy Land. How many do we have enough lands in the deck? Well, at least we can path this guy next turn. This is not exciting. Of course, they had Blink Moth Nexus too. I just don't want you to have a million guys. Sure. You got it. <clears throat> Yeah, I also like that uh, you shuffle Elixir back in, don't you? Oh, that was actually a great draw. I mean, a land is also... Like, I feel like we just haven't... We haven't hit our land drops here. I wonder if we actually need... More lands in the deck. Yes. Yes, please use the ability.
<laughs> Lingering Soul is actually one of the best cards in the affinity matchup, so. Try any some creature lands and you get a chance to see if it helps me like 10. <laughs> That's a real funny. I had like 10 creature lands. Yeah, but like the thing is, um, what is the ratio of lands that you should have? In a typical deck, a typical deck, you should have like 24 lands, right? So 24 to 60. So it's kind of like. I don't know what a typical Battle of Wits deck wants. Yeah, I didn't think Big Ounce was you, buddy. 7-2. I mean, we're just going to double block here. You only have two creatures, so. There we go. Now we're talking. The deck aims to do with the, literally the card in the name. Win with Battle of Wits. Yep, that is fine. Spurts. Really? I don't know if I agree with this. What's 40% of... Uh, what's, how many, how many is, uh, 20, 26 lands? Because that's what I feel like you want to be closer to. Man, this is... Let's just beseech the old queenums. Give me that battle of wits. Got it. 26 is 104. All right, so we probably want to add like four lands, I think. And Battle of Wits wins the day. Half of the day. Battle of Wits wins a small portion of the day. Alessandro also seems pretty insane if we can get Gifts Ungiven into Unburrow Arts. Do we have all four? We have four Drowned, four Glacial, and four Isolated. Yeah, so the only thing we're missing is literally uh, Fetch Lands, or uh, Creature Lands. That's cool. keep this because we got the old stony silence <sighs> oh I like temples too that's pretty nice that could be relevant oh god oh god here we go Oh yeah, that's guys. That guy's dead. Oh, well, there's a lot of things you're doing here. Thank goodness for flooded strands. Whoa, what is this? 
Wow! Yep, water grave, play it untapped. Cast and kill this gentleman. I will take one whole damage. I will take one damageo. All right. See again, we need lands here. I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking one of the big issues here is land. And a signal pest. Land. Land is all I need. That is not a land. Okay. Well. If I hadn't punked out of Vegas, he could have met Seth. Though. I'm not sure. If the... Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. Hey, that's a land. All right. So now we can desphere. Do we get rid of these guys or this guy? So if they activate a Nexus, they can activate both, and that's four damage. If we get rid of these guys, it's f also four damage, I guess. Hmm. I really want to turn these lands off. Oh, they can only activate one right now. So, yeah, Memnite's better. Man, Sony Silence is a hell of a drug. Oh, where's my... Alright, I need a Mystic, mystic Rainforest. <laughs> That's not what it's called. Mystic... Gate. Mystic Gate, Mystic Gate. Mystic Gate, instead I get a nothing. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Well, we're not dead yet, but it's not looking great. Yeah, the only the only issue I have right now is lands. The problem with disallowing the activation is they have a free Blink Moth Nexus to just do it again with. So, I mean, that doesn't really do anything. That's just a... You guys... <laughs> like, what does that do? Why are you guys... You guys just naming things that are physically possible to do in this... You can tap your planes. Like, they have three lands. If we disallow it, they just activate it with the other land. It doesn't do anything. I mean, this probably kills us, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we can prevent two, so we go to three instead. It's not great. We might just have to, though. Okay, uh, we have a Wrath of God, and we drew a Swamp. Not ideal. And we died. All right. Well, that was that was the thing that happened. Five play points. All right, we're going to add some more lands. Um, Let's get... I don't think actually Colonnades... I think I'd actually rather have Temple of... I think I'd rather actually have Blue White Temple of Enlightenment, I believe you are called. Temple of? Why are you taking so long? There we go. Uh, two temples of this. 
let's see we got 240 divided by times 42 43 103 lands we probably need three lands i guess we can just add three temples one and actually we'll add four and we'll take out we'll take something out one of these and one of these god they're gonna be all the way at the bottom aren't they this is some no they're not they're Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, elixir seems better for this deck. Which of the which of the four? Um, 14, 13, 12, or eleven? We'll go with eleven because we're old timers. Um, so we have one hundred four lands in now, which is nice. I'd rather err on the side of higher lands. Yeah, Deceit is blue-black, Enlightenment is blue-white, and Silence is black-white. All right, so. Hmm. Doesn't Final Parting do the same thing as Gifts, where you can just get, like, a Lush Norn and Unbarrow Rights? That seems pretty cool, right? I probably take out one collusion. Take out one blessed alliance. We're gonna go down to three ofs for some stuff, but take out a remand because I actually, despite the fact that digging is a little bit useful, um, I don't think you necessarily want. Maybe you do. Maybe it's fine. Either way, we got to take out some stuff. I think we can take out one slaughter pack. Sometimes it's just gonna be dead. And I think that's now we're at two forty. So. What did we take out? We took out one Collusion, one Slaughter Pact, one Remand, and one Blessed. Okay. Yeah, let's try it like that. That's a good point, actually. I could be like, all right, I'll put a Lush Norn in the graveyard, put Battle of Wits in my hand. Um, this actually seems fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, it's House of Shadow, buddy. Buddies, guys. Shell Dock Isle? What is this kind of... What is this trash you're showing me here? Do, 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 I'm just going to crack this. Uh, I don't, we can't do anything, so I don't really care. Oh, wow. Are you going to, like... We got all three of these guys. We want to... Blank, blank, black. Blue, blue. White, white. We'll just get a hollowed fountain. Don't archive trap me, bro. Okay, we did it. We did it. Whew. Is Mill the bane of this deck? I feel like they would never mill us out. That's actually hilarious. Is Mill the, the bane of this deck? That seems... That doesn't even... We have Elixir in our main deck. That doesn't even seem accurate, right? I can't tell if you're being serious or not there. Also, boy, this logic knock gets real good. I don't care about damage against this deck, so. Explain how Mill, unless Force Pitch Force, unless you were totally joking. Uh, 
Uh, let's pay one, two, three, four, just in case you have something ridiculous. Do they have four surgicals main? Ooh, that's rough. Oh boy, we're having a good time. Hmm. Play you. I don't really care about flashing anything back yet. I do want to get the final parting here. What if they mill themselves before they milled us? Unfortunately, this Teleri West being tapped means we have to, uh, This is for the memes. <laughs> All right, you got it. Pretty sure Spellcaller counters every card in their deck, right? Does this deck have counter spells? God, do we even win with... <laughs> Meeting at three three thirty. <laughs> oh, you're gonna shake your fist, but once you actually, if you win this piece and you actually get it, oh my god, dude! I'm gonna be so excited. Look at that! <laughs> All right, let's find the card, guys. Whoop. Let's get Elixir. What happened? Did it go somewhere? I can't even see. This is ridiculous. I can't see. Guys, I can't see. I can't see. All right. I think we actually have to get uh, Lingering Souls, probably put them in the graveyard. All right, now we're gonna pass. Hope you don't have. Sure. Real mature, buddy. Real mature. Can we create Frank Coin a new currency for digital life? Yeah, we can definitely try. Taunus can probably help. What if they mill themselves before they mill us? Oh, I guess that'll never happen because they have an Emrakul in their deck. This is a lot of things. Yeesh. This is my detention sphere. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Put a godless shrine out. No. And flashback lingering souls. All right, let's do it. Let's get her done. Don't keep milling me. Pokey Mooney, thank you so much for the bits. More like Battle of Bits, am I right? You are actually, that is correct. I'm gonna play my elixir. Don't counter my elixir. 
I mean, I got Spell Queller. I got a Spell Queller. Wrecked. Wrecked. I'm gonna wreck it. Let's bring out this other Lingering Souls as well. It's a Wreck-It Ralph reference, in case you guys didn't understand it. It's from the movie Wreck-It Ralph. When you buy bits for the first time to make a dumb joke. Perfect. Beautiful. That's the best reason to buy bits. Look at all these crab activations. They have two cards in hand. Damnation. What in damnation? Nah, that ain't cool. I got a win con on the board, my boy. I was like, I hope there's still land left to get. Uh, I'll just get watery grave, I guess. Let's just win. Let's just win with uh, with with floaters on the board. One, two, three. Transmute this dude. Where, where am I? There we go. Let me get Pact of Negation. Just for safeties. How are you going to mill out the Battle of Wits deck? You are an ambitious gentleman. Yep, keep on milling. Keep on milling. Pact of negotiation. You right. I have one card. Man, I ain't even scared of that. Unless they got a wit X on my graveyard at instant speed. What if they do have that? Is there any way to exile my graveyard at instant speed? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. We are one mana shy of doing it all. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We play land every turn. That's good. Let's get. A battle of spits. I'm going to still win with Battle of Wits. You can't even stop me. Shuffle the graveyard so we can... We can't do both. Dang it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm going to let you have all this. I'm going to let you finish, but let me... Battle of Wits is one of the memeiest decks of all time. You got it. We have one card in the graveyard. You can flash it back. You got it. You you done played yourself. I guess he doesn't say done when he says he just says you played yourself. Yeah, you got it. It's all going to the graveyard now.
Don't you dare concede. Don't you dare. Battle of Doodoos. That's not what it's called. And we're going to attack you for... I'm going to push you to one. I'm going to put you to two. No, I'm going to put you to one. Watch him draw fetch land and then I'll just crack it. As the greatest. What's your reshuffle tactic? I got it right here. It's on board. You guys are all chatting about some nonsense. I didn't. I couldn't keep up, so. Don't you dare concede. I got that one life and we're going to battle of wits. It's going to be amazing. All right, you can return your Oboro. Obo, bo, 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 Oh, this is a little trick they do. This is a little meme they, they're going to do. No blocks. Are you guys ready? We have packed, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do with one card in hand. I guess they have two cards, technically. No, they don't. Sheldock Isle isn't even close to it coming. Don't you dare concede. Don't you dare. Okay. You can get your damnation back. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes. Excellent. Oh, uh, okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Oh, got him. Mill is a bold choice here. Mill. I'm taking laptop to meeting to watch auction. The best part is that you're probably totally fine doing that at Microsoft. They're like, okay, that seems cool. I'm also going to keep an eye on it. I also have the tab open. We've got 25 minutes left on us. Oh my god, this is exciting. Alright, I'm going to take out Blessed Alliance because they're not really attacking with anybody. Uh, I don't think about Stony Silence, Nihil Spellbomb. Ceremonious Rejection seems better just because we have... Uh, they have mesmeric orbs and things. I do like winning on the spot. Mind Break Trap has to be better than like some combination of Wrath, Damnation, and Supreme Verdict. Probably keep all the Supreme Verdicts considering that they have... Actually, like there's a lot of dead cards like Condemn and Paths are dead against them. Uh, do we actually care? I mean, like, no, but I mean, like, we care about it more than condemning their Hedron Crab, right? So, like, it's just a better card comparatively to the other cards in our deck. Thomas, I also don't know how I didn't run into you when I lived in Seattle. I have no idea how we didn't run into each other. Okay, I believe you. Don't worry, I have no I don't have like six thousand dollars lying around. I live in Seattle. <laughs> Fantastic. So does Thanos, actually, so you guys are See that's the irony. Thanos lives in Seattle and he does. So we got white, white, black. It's probably a hollowed fountain. Hmm. I think we just want to play Fetid Pools here. Keep up. Ceremonious in case they play Mesmeric Orb. Apparently, software engineering is more lucrative than being a musician, Spencer. 
that's uh that's what I, that's why I, that's the conclusion I've come to Oof. Bottom you and top you. Gifts next turn for blue seems pretty good or black. How are the two ones going today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Ashiok. Yikes. Well, we don't have any creatures, right? So. Dang, that's messed up. Dang. Damn, Daniel. At it again with the brain spoil transmute. Did he just bring back a damn Daniel meme? He did. He did. Wow, look at this brain spoil on the stack that was actually an Ashiok. All right, well, we'll see what happens next turn, smart guy. It's like, joke's on you, I'll just mill you. You won't have 200 when I'm done with you. Well, isn't that sad? <laughs> How lucky. Well. Well then, isn't that special? There's an Lush Norn, but no Iona. All right, well, we're just hoping they don't hit. Uh, we're just gonna Iona here, and I can't imagine they have an answer if we use if we name black. Well, you're a you're a scumbag. <laughs> Actual scumbag over here. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> it almost feels like we now we want more spells to deal with non creatures. Yep, that is all fine. Elixir off the top, one time. That's not it. I have a feeling they're gonna exile our graveyard. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Are you guys ready? Ashok is real strong here. Good lord. Elixir's in the graveyard? Oh no, that's sad. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Where did my hand go? I don't know. It's all gone now. And game three. All right. Seems good. Stony Silence? No. Blessed Alliance? No.
Like, Condemn is just blank. Uh, I'm bringing all of these. Take out the Condemn, 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 Condemn. Ugh. Jesus, are you serious? <laughs> oh boy, we're having a good time. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll just keep this three. Is that the new tech? Oh boy, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Nailed it. Mulliganing is like the least fun thing about magic. Did we even get to scry? Oh, it was a dismember, wasn't it? Yeah, I put the dismember maybe. So how you guys doing today? Sounds good. Yep. Lingering souls in root. Here we go. And a black source. There's not a tremendous amount of lands in our graveyard, at least as far as I can tell. Maybe we can draw a black source here? Nope, we can't. Okay. Elixir in the graveyard yet? Doesn't look like it, but hard to say. Nah, nope, that was a Nihil spell bomb. All right. And nope, still spell bombs. All right. You just feel to ruin my land. What an actual scumbag. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you win this way. Oh boy. Get out of here. <laughs> you have one card in hand? Good. Give me a white land so I can get rid of this stupid... Oh my god, how many cards is that? That was like 40 cards. That was incredible. White land gets rid of both these phantasms. Which is pretty good. Well, my elixir is gone. Is there another one in here? There's got to be another one in here, right? <laughs> so, it's a sizable graveyard, guys. One, two, three, four, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another twenty-four cards are going away. My God. Ha, da, 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 
do, 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 do. gonna just concede because this is dumb. Mulligan to one and almost had a chance, but we did not. Ha, 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 ha. Um, I feel like we want less. Kind of want like dispels and things, right? Like we want more counter spells that actually. Because like against Storm, we're probably I don't know. I guess we have disallows, supreme will, and the gates and stuff. Yeah. All right. I guess we can try again. I like commit to memory, but I just don't know where we'd. The problem is, is it better, like, having the deck full of four ofs, or is it actually okay to have a bunch of three ofs? Like, we can take out a journey and probably take out, like... Probably take out... I'm a big Slaughter Pact fan, to be honest, but I understand it's... it's it, I understand it's... Necessity? Uh, yeah, one problem with the deck is we don't actually have a lot of card drawing. Like, we don't actually have a lot of ways to draw cards. We just have... We're just sitting here with, like, one card a turn. And it's very, very focused on the combo. Like, I don't know if we need 32 search effects. Like, I can see cutting Demonic... I think Demonic Collusion's probably the worst. I'm going to add Compulsive Research. See, because there's so many cards that it's actually harder to tweak the deck list in such a way. Like, I just traded, I just added four cards out of 240, and I'm like, this'll this'll do it. This'll change everything. And it's really just kind of hard to. One, I'm so sorry, Frank Buck. I forgive you, buddy. I forgive you. I think this hand is fine. Oh, shambling vent, eh? All right, well that's enough black. No, that's enough black white lands. Eh, any any card that is not that see that would have been bad to draw. Temple's already paying off here. Alright, Taunos ends in about eight minutes. That's exciting. That was a good draw. Holy smokes. That was a good draw. Bitter Blossom. Interesting. I'm just going to pass here. Tonic Edge? Oh my god. Collective Brutality. No, don't do that. I'd prefer you didn't. This is where they go, Thoughtseize. No Thoughtseize. Can we just brain spoil here? I guess we actually play Godless Shrine Collective Brutality. Next turn we'll brain spoil. Uh, 
really your hand and you'd lose two. Actually, we'll kill this guy. Smallpox, Smallpox, Liliana, Kalidus. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Well, that's... isn't that awkward. Oh. Well then. Oh, the other smallpox is gone. Huh. So the problem now is that we're going to play a land. We're going to brain spoil. And then we're going to have a land and a battle in hand. Actually, no. We discard a land and then we have battle. Yeah, all right. This actually works out perfectly. I don't think they can beat this. Oh, they have tectonic edge. They can beat this pretty. Yeah, there's. Yeah, we're pretty much dead here. <laughs> this game is pretty much over. Uh, we're gonna get battle and hope they don't notice. Shh. Just don't tech edge me, bro. That's all. FTL cringe, full effect. We just discard with Liliana. They kill a land. We'll discard Chapel. Oh. oh, that is not what I expected. So now we just have to top take a land. Interesting. Top deck land one time or else we lose. <sighs> Never have it. Still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm still alive. Is something wrong? She said. If it's a tap land, it's real awkward because then. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'll take two, three, four, five, five. I'll take five. No blocks. Wow. That's why you don't scoop, ladies and gentlemen. If something wrong she said, oh, am I supposed to be? Is that the question? Also, this is going on right now. Taunus is the high bidder right now. So, 6,000. Two minutes remaining. I'm just going to have six here. So I can win during my upkeep. 
Good game. Yeah, they'll be like, all your lands in one pile, Battle of Wits in another pile. Uh, I'll take the Battle of Wits pile. Okay. Yeah, like, none of our sideboard cards are actually good here. Do we not want, do we not want, like, Signets in the deck? Like, maybe four Azorius Signet and four Demir Signet? Like, do we not want ways to ramp into, like, turn four Wrath of Gods or Cryptic Commands and stuff like that? I feel like we do. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot. Didn't they take out the Blessed Alliances? Well then. We also don't have anything to deal with artifacts or enchantments anywhere in the deck. I guess we have Detention Sphere. Yeah, because I feel like you want an abundance of mana production in this deck. I will keep this hand. Give me a temple. That wasn't a temple at all. 50. 50 seconds left. I want to bring it over right before it ends so we can... I'm pretty sure Thomas is currently the high bidder. Which is great. Great. It's going to be a Liliana. I also, I'm not in love with Journey to Nowhere just because it's pretty narrow. I'd almost rather have Oblivion Ring or Banished Light just because it's more ways to... Oh, this is going to be awkward, unless we hit lands here. Gotta try. Oh my god, I think Tonos won it. I think Tonos won this. I think he was the high bidder at six. Oh my god, that's super exciting, dude. Oh, I discard. We'll discard two cards here. Two cards, faux show. Uh, let's get rid of Beseech and Wrath of God. Oh my God, I'm super excited! I can't wait till he gets out of this meeting so that he can uh, he can confirm whether he won this or not. Like I can't imagine a painting of Thanos being in someone someone's hands other than Thanos himself like that would be so like oh it's just perfect yeah that's fine I'm pretty sure he won it hasn't gone up since a while ago and I'm pretty sure he was the this the the, the bidder at 6,000 uh I'll discard a condemn So next time we just brain spoil for for the good good. Yeah, the bid never changed since he left. I'm pretty sure, but I want to wait for confirmation. I don't want to get excited. Thoughts on Chromatic Lantern? I don't hate it, but I actually I don't I think it's alright. Oh, you're gonna get Beseech the Queen out of here. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Disallow a Lily Ultimate is uh, is pretty good, actually. I like that we can actually go uh, Brain Spoil and Sleight of Hand next turn. That's pretty nice. I like Signets because they come down on turn two, and we don't have a lot of action on turn two. Did they not exile any of them? They chose Beseech, and then they just didn't actually exile anything. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, I'll just play you. 
two, three, get a white and a blue. Use this, use the black. We'll sleight of hand. I'm gonna get the land in case they have like something that gets rid of our fifth land. Transmute into bow. B O dubs. Where my library is at. All right, let's see. What is my favorite land art? That's tricky. There's a lot of land arts that I like. I don't know if any one I'm like, this is the one, this is my land. Uh, I'm a big fan of all the unhinged arts. <laughs> Who isn't? Yeah, so this is what I was afraid of, but it's okay, that's why we took the land. We've prepared for this eventuality. Now we get to play Watery Grave and Disallow. I'm going to discard Journey. They have one card. Seems good. Oh, we get to keep up in the gate too. All right. Pass the turn. We're going to discard Final Pair, Pair Ting. They're going to make us discard. They're going to discard as well. It's going to be another... Uh, do I care about that until your next turn? No. You can have that. You got it. Negative. That is your last card. We'll get rid of Final Parting. We'll play Battle of Wits. And we will sacrifice... God, I hope the Ultimate Lily and we get to sacrifice everything but Battle of Wits. That's all I want out of this game. Oh, that's actually real good. B O W. Yeah, I'm going to make sure. Yeah, whenever they do something like that. Uh, I'm gonna. Yep. All right. I'm gonna. I make sure that I read exactly what I'm doing, so that it says like. So I make sure. Here's the piles. Choose a pile to sacrifice. Okay, this is fantastic. Print screen. <laughs> I leave all print screen so you can get it in the thing. Yep, that's pretty good. Nailed it. Save as got him. Seems good. I have six here. Was watching YouTube just decided to see you live. So glad to catch you for the first time. The meme seems to be a big fan. So I'm a big fan. Doc, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. The meme is there is a big fan meme. That is definitely correct. Uh no blocks. Okay, win the game. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Yep, nailed it. Brandon, I'm going to send that to you right now, buddy. Just so I don't forget. Got him! Tanos, can you come back in the chat, buddy, so we can see if you won this thing? Harkalata, thank you so much, man. Have a good night, pal. Really appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna put some signets in this thing. Oh, new signets? Or old signets? Old signet. One, two, three, four. And for Azorius, one, two, three, four. And we're going to take out Blessed Alliance. We are going to take out... This is 245. God, you just play this too. You're like, man, 245, whatever. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. 
I don't like Orzhov signets because I think we're actually, I mean, we're mostly heavy bluish and blackish, right? Sort by color. Yeah, like by a by a sizable margin. Blue is the heaviest color, black is the second heaviest color, and white's just kind of like, huh, I want to play two guys. I guess we have these as whites as well, but... I agree. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah, I guess you don't have to take cards out. We can just add more. I'll just go to 244. Is there a problem with that? I have no idea. Battle of Wits is so weird. Is there like a perfect note? You're like, no, you want 240 exactly. I have no idea. If I was in Battle of Wits, probably a glitter branch. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I do agree with you. I'm like, 15 card sideboard, huh? What am I going to use this for? But, on the other hand, it's like, you have so many tutors that, like, you can always find something. I will play first. Oh, this hand is great. What a great hand. Look at this sick damnation. I'd play with these. If you guys want to donate me for uh, Masterpiece Damnations, you know what? I won't even stop you. I know. I know. That's generous of me. I'll put you on the bottom because you don't further our plan. We already have two counter spells in hand. This format is modern. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny how many people don't actually know Battle of Wits. This is actually comical to me. I don't get this 200 card deck. You will. Uh-oh. The good news is you won, right? What's the bad news? Dude, we were so invested. I actually put it up on the screen when the countdown was going, and we were like, I think he won. I think he's the last, the highest bidder. Uh, no, this is getting countered. Yes, the bad news is so much better than the, than the, it's so much, the good news is so much better than the bad news. That's fantastic. That's so exciting, yes! Oh, man. I love that, I love that the Tano's original art fell into the hands of one of my friends. This is fantastic, I'm so excited. 6k I make that every three months <laughs> fantastic oh man this is great oh man I'm so excited this is just the best thing ever oh my god now there's going to be updates like when you get it and when you get it framed Woo, this is exciting What did they take? Damnation? Man. Whew. That's great. This is great. Everything's great.
No, I want, I want, I want to see it, man. I, dude, I, if you don't think I'm invested in this right now, I feel like I encouraged you. I feel like if I didn't initially encourage you, you wouldn't have been interested. You were just like, eh, whatever, no big deal. Now it's a now it's a chat journey. Plus, whatever images you send about like the framing or the whatever, I could just we can just stream it, and then like I can show people can keep up with the uh, the updates. Can't wait to hear when you frame it and how long it goes to press up for murder and the fallout of that's with its family. Oh. Frank, don't encourage me to do anything. I can't afford 6K. It just feels like a situation where like you're going to walk past this like in your house every day and you're going to be like, yeah, this is a good decision. Glad I did this. And that's that's pretty cool. Let's sleight of hand here. Got to take the cryptic command shields down, but... I like Azorius Signet here. I think. Oh, it's keeping it at work. Oh, I like it. I like it. And they can be like, hey, who's that? And you'll be like, that's me. <laughs> I'll be like, what? And you're like, sit down, young, young developer. Let me tell you a tale. Oh, this is actually hard to deal with. I guess they I guess it's not super hard to deal with right now because they have to have if they have six, they can loop it, right? Like they can exile it when it comes back, uh while the trigger's on the stack, they can exile it again. So we have Cryptic Command and Remand Mana, which is nice. We can bounce this Sculler now that the Aether Vial is on three. It's weird that when you start at 240 life, you also don't start at 240 cards. You don't also start at like 80 life. Uh, you have four times as many cards in your deck, but you don't get four times as much life, which is kind of frustrating. Well, you wouldn't start at 240 life because you wouldn't start you don't you don't start at a life equal to your cards, right? So you wouldn't start at 60 life normally. Um Yeah, we're going to take this, go to 8. So you only start at 80 life unfortunately, but you know, that's not bad. Oh my god, Signets, you are a night you'll always be a nightmare. Uh return you. Oh, they just blink in a response, don't they? They blink in a response, the damnation comes back, we get the damnation back. Maybe? I have no idea how this is gonna work, man. Excel another creature that returns battlefield. So this guy leaves, then it comes back. If the triggers go on the stack, I guess they get to choose how the triggers go on the stack. So they can return the damnation and then Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't think this does anything. I think we just need to top deck like a Wrath of God or a Damnation. Is there a card that lets you win if you have 200 cards? Is there Magus of the Wits? I don't think so.
Okay. One, two, three, four. We don't have actually enough for... I like this. Yeah, but they can. I think they can stack the triggers however they want to. They're both going on the. You're putting them on the stack at the same time, because both of them happen after the XL resolves. I'm pretty sure. So when the XL, when the when the Eldrazi Displacer ability resolves, you have two triggers to put on the stack. So you can choose to put uh, the return to the hand on top. And then the exile a card on the bottom. So you could make sure the damnation gets returned. And then you can choose the damnation again from the exile ability. Oh, you're just going to do that. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we go to two here, so that's actually my F6 thing here. We got a remand. It didn't work that way with Spellcaller? What didn't work that way with Spellcaller? Spellcaller is a different card, though. I mean, how could it work with, how could it work that way with Spellcaller? Like, Spellcaller actually has two, Spellcaller lets you cast the spell. It doesn't actually go to the hand and let you pick another spell. I don't understand how those two are, even, how, how those two are comparable. I also have three cards in hand, so like Aether Val and Four is pretty rough. I can't counter any of these things. Ceremony's Rejection counters Displacer and Aether Vial, which is pretty nice. Yep. Yep. All right, that'll do. Yeah, I. You don't have to do all that nonsense. I'm. I'm already dead. You don't have to show me another Tide and Tallow Scholar. Yeah, all right, bring these in. Journey seems good. Condemn seems pretty good. Eventually, I get to a point where I just can't have this fan on anymore. I'm just like, I'm done with you, fan. Uh, you can't reject this color because it's color. It's got colors, right? I will play first. Yeah, we'll keep the sand. Uh, the odds of us hitting a Stony Silence on turn one to stop their Vile is pretty bad. Similarly, I do not want to get a basic, nor do I want to take three damage to play a Serum Visions against this deck. Uh, Chad, I think you were thinking of Steel Sabotage. We haven't drowned. So we're probably going to get a hollowed fountain here. Because we always want a blue source, but we also want a white source. I think we're actually just going to keep up. We have two counter spells, three counter spells. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely not. That's probably one of my most hated modern cards. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to keep both of these. I'm going to keep both of these again. Actually, yeah, put you on top, put you on top of that. I'm not going to plan on fatal pushing here. I'm just hoping you don't have land other arbiter because then we're just going to have to shuffle. Yeah, that's fine. You don't like the variance between big grizzly bears and strip mine? No, not so much, but I, uh, maybe I can learn. Also, this is a deck that does definitely uh, benefit from, like, Ghost Quarters are totally fine against us. See, the difference is in Paper Magic, if you put the land in the graveyard and then you're like, I'll pay two, uh, you're, it's fine. Like, no one's gonna, no one's gonna call you on that, you know? The problem is, once you actually click it on Magic Online, you're done, and you're like, oh, cool, I just don't get a land now. It's almost 7 o'clock. 6.48. Good lord. Oh, uh, do I want the negate? I have a negate. I think we want something a little more versatile. I, I do want this cryptic command, though. What to get? What to get? We have triple blue. Just got a goblet shrine here. We can diversify our... Nope. Flooded strand seems fine. I also like keeping. I like throwing the fetch lands out early so that we can actually crack them if they do play a a guy and we don't happen to have a response for it. Restoration angel. I'm gonna counter that and draw a card. And if they try to play Arbiter and do some shenanigans, we're just going to crack Flooded Strand. Get, um... Get a Watery Grave and kill it in response. See you later, I'm going to go bug us. Uh, thanks for <laughs> taunting us. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. I'm actually going to kill this guy now because we don't really have a way to do it after this. So despite the fact that they get to look at another card. Yes. And kill you. Sure, you're gonna negate or remand. Nope. All right. Well, we have not been drawing great this match, but <clears throat> they don't seem to have any black for linger. I wonder. I wonder how long until they actually ghost quarter one of their lands to get the black for lingering souls. Wild dill. <laughs> well, first off, Chad, I don't know who wild dill is, but that sounds like a crazy condiment. Second off, it wasn't Walladill. It was House of Shadow, which is David. And, uh, <laughs> it couldn't, Actually missed. You couldn't actually have messed that up any 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 further. Uh, I would definitely consider it. Yeah, I mean, I I have no reason not to. Like I uh, I think we're definitely we're definitely close enough that I would have I I would consider coming. I would just have to make sure it worked with my schedule. <laughs> Wild Dill. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That is good.
Do you guys have any uh, any dill? I, we have wild dill. Is that what you're referring to? Y you know what? It's not. It's really not. See, and now, see, the problem becomes, now everyone in the chat is like, would you come to my wedding? And see, I don't know if I personally could fund all these plane tickets. Oh, God, if we can top, can we top deck, like, a Supreme Verdict, a Wrath of God, or a Damnation one time? One, two, three, four. Or any four mana tutor. Oh, Temple's good. Temple, Temple does it. All right, on, then we're done. What's our record of this deck? It's like it's a 1-5 right now. It's not great. Um, let's go to game history. I'm just curious as to if that was four or five. Four? All right, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to play one more match with this deck. We've added compulsive research and we added some signets. We didn't really... Are you invited? I'm probably not even going to my own wedding whenever that is. Nope, not going to do it. Oh, this is brutal, but I'll keep it. This is just, I usually like playing these first because I don't think we're ever in a situation where... Um, like, this deck usually has enough filtering. Um, Yeah, I'll just keep that. Yeah, we'll just natural uh, naturally have Battle of Wits in our opening hand. They're going to make us discard. And then we're going to draw Battle of Wits, and they're going to be like, where did that come from? Yep, they, they accidentally tapped for the wrong color. Yep, you got it. Hmm. I see. Fascinating. Fascinating. I'm going to play Fetid Pools here because if we don't draw any other lands, we want to make sure we have this out. Of course, we are. We all know that we are going to draw lands. Oh, I got a little Beastard's Bubble. Oh my god, is this Lantern? Is it actually a really good match for us? Oh my god. What kind of counters does the dick run? I don't even know. Lantern of Insight. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. <sighs> Never mind. Cool. Yep, this is where we never get to do anything else again. Cool deck. Have fun in the two-man queue with yourself. Oh, boy. Good times. Bring all of these in. Take all of these out. Yeah, we have so many dead cards against them. Like, I don't actually want to go down to 233, but, like, it's almost better than just drawing the blanks. Oh, actually, I guess we can't. I guess we actually have to keep just junk in the deck. I can see Path being fine. I'm not sure. Okay, well, that's good. No one mentioned you, Alexa. Wow, that's pretty brutal. Runic Armasaur and Declare Dominance and Lich's Caress. Any thoughts? Uh, I would probably go with the Lich's Caress. I don't think Declare, Dom De Declare Dominance is good, but like it hasn't actually worked out that well for me. I think it's hard to set up. 
Uh, if you have two creatures out, like, usually it's only a removal spell anyway, and, like, one of your big creatures gets through or whatever. And Runic Armasaur is fine, but he's really just a guy. It's just a, like, there's not, it's not going to trigger very often, so you're really just getting a uh, a 2-5 for, for 3. What are the odds we get to play this on turn 1, on turn 2? Absolute zero. Yep, never fails. All right. And a blank. Please use the mana I have in the pool. That's why I put it there. Thank you. Yeah, I have strong opinions about Lantern 2. Oh, that's nice. Let's do that. Cool. Uh, Lantern is less fun to play against. Ponza is more fun to play against than Lantern because at least those games end relatively quickly. Whereas this, you literally have to concede, which kind of feels worse because you're, you basically have to choose to end the game. Sure. You got it. And War of Invention for one. I guess you're getting Engineer Explosives. Lantern, sure. I do like a Compulsive Research. I'll shovel this cryptic command away. It's up to you, chief. No, you just want to give it to me. I'll discard a land. Yeah, there is that feeling of like, well, I shouldn't concede because I could get like, you know, they have three ways to get rid of the top three draws. But if that fourth card is also good, then I can draw that. And it's just like, all right, whatever. Like, you feel like you shouldn't concede. But on the other hand, you're just like, is my time more valuable than this? Yes. And then we can also be like, well, hopefully we can just race you with these two spirits. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more blue source to cast both of these in the same turn. And we know we're going to draw a library, uh, swamp. So Padim on top. Unless you choose to, uh, probably, you're probably just going to draw that. I can't imagine you don't.
Well, that's a pretty decent draw. Actually, I wonder if we spell Queller the Padim just to get the clock a little faster. But then if they have, like, Damnation, they just get it. Like, if their last card is, like... I don't think they... I don't think they run Damnation, though, right? Oh, interesting. Well, that's not interesting, actually. Oh, actually, if they Codex Shredder, we can respond by Battle of Witsing... By drawing a card. Um... So you know they have Padim in hand? I guess they just sacrifice library and, and make a shuffle. That's fine. You know what? I don't care. That's not good. We're not going to win that way. Alright, so you have no cards, you're drawing a Botanical Sanctum. So I basically just kill you here. You're like the deadest. So you draw, you're going to get rid of your Botanical Sanctum. Mox Opal, that's a good one. Draw that. Nope, you're going to Codex Shredder or Pixis during upkeep. Oh, got a bridge. Oh, I'll draw my bridge. I mean, you know I'm going to do this. One, two, nope, that ain't gonna, yeah, actually, that's fine. You can use this, black, one, two, and a blue. And we actually are going to marsh flats here. Maybe we get runner, runner. Let's get a watery grave. Nope. Final parting's pretty good. Do you want me to have that? No. Demir Signet. Well, that's innocuous enough. You can just give me that. Another final parting on top. Watch. There's going to be just enough cards. Where they get to get rid of this one. Abrupt decay. Alright. That doesn't do it. Spire of Industry. That doesn't do it. You get Lantern here. And you have to find... Let's see what you drew. Got him. Got him! What a surprise. Um, so does Padim have Hexproof, or do the Artifacts have Hexproof? I think Fatal Push is probably worse than Slaughter Pact. I mean, we can... Yeah, we'll just submit like this. Thoroughly hexable. I can hex that dude all day. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. I think Lingering Souls is actually pretty good. Doesn't matter. It's going to go to... The, actually, they're going to take the Cryptic Command when they undoubtedly... Oh. I see. Alright. That was a cute start. Stony silence off the top. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Oh, 
Okay. So you're going to get Pixis. You're going to draw a Spire. Okay. Unless you choose to mill the things away. The worst part about for me is like having to keep track of all this bullshit. Like, all right, let me write down exactly what you may or may not have in your hand. I don't know. Yeah, exiling here. Oh, never mind. Better do it again. You're not going to do it again? You want that Mox Opal? So they drew Opal, right? And they played Pixis, and they're going to draw Sanctum? Maybe. Maybe they draw Sanctum. I mean, I'm 100% cycling this Feathered Pools if our plan is to draw a... For already drawing a planes. Oh boy. Oh bully. Next card's gonna be a no, oh, well, it's just a dirt it's like a just a dirtily land. Pixes dirtily land. Okay, shredder. You got it. I don't see them I don't foresee them milling us anytime soon. And cage. Okay, Shredder's gone. So now you have Opal in hand? What the hell? Well, we're casting this now while we can. Guess we're taking the shields down. Uh, I didn't keep the cycle for later because I didn't. I don't foresee our. I don't know when we're gonna have. They're gonna have. They had multiple at the time already. Oh, I see. That's we figured it out. There you go. Now we're dead. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I have a group or regular grid. Well, this is how I win the game. Well, that's cool. Zach Elsick developed Lantern Control, and. Uh, it's what makes him one of the greatest villains in magic history. Wow. It's like the swamp didn't even move. The problem was we knew they were drawing uh, Graf Digger's Cage, presumably. So I wanted to get these guys out there as soon as possible. However, that did... Uh, pose a problem specifically God, what a way to end the stream it's not fun I wonder what it takes to play a deck like this and actually have a good time it's just a very, it's very weird. It's like sitting down to play chess against someone, knocking all their pieces off the table, and then being like, and then just moving yours as if like you're still playing the game. Do they have a way to actually shuffle their library? Does anyone know? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because they have Aether Grid, so... What's the puzzle? Like, there's no real puzzle. It's literally just you play the stupid cards in your hand until you have none, and then if your opponent has a good card, you mill it. If they don't, you don't. Like, it's literally... It's really not that complicated. I didn't even attack this turn because I just don't care anymore.
Oh, yeah, Jigsaw Puzzle, sure. I mean, like, we're drawing infinite lands, too. Like, we've drawn, what, four spells, three spells to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. Like, sure. Another land on top. Yep, we're done. I'm almost tempted to just make them play it out. Just F6 every turn. I'll tell you more if you force them to concede bonus, bonus to keep playing bonus if they ask you to concede. Yeah, I'm just going to play it out. You can kill me three points at a turn. Congratulations. Oh, here's my pyrite spell bomb. This is a central piece of my comp, my dex combination. Like, there has to be, like, seven cards in a row, right? They have to go Pixis, Pixis, Shredder, Shredder. Yeah, sure. The problem is they're not going to mill themselves out because they have either Gerper. Gerper Grid, or either Gerper, either... What, whatever this... Gerper, either Grid, all of the things I said, just in a different order. I mean, if they didn't have this card, I actually wonder if we could survive, but... I mean, is this fun for them? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I'm not doing anything. Is this actually fun for you? Because that's weird, right? Like, I'm literally just F6-ing through my turn and their turn. Like, if they could win faster, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Five, I hate lantern bucks. Gas. Hopefully something exciting happens before we lose, but I doubt it. When they have the lethal point of damage on the stack, I should just be like, oh, all right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll just leave. I'll just get out of here. Cheer one if by land, cheer two if by sea. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we had a good run. But it was not good run. It was bad run. Oh, another Graftigger's Cage. 
that's an extra 0.5 damage to my deck. <laughs> Actually, it brings the average of damage up by 0.5 per turn, you see. 300 held hostage by lantern control bits. Fantastic. Oh, there you go. No, oh, thank God. All right. On that note, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, foray into Battle of Wits. This had to be the most complicated critique I've ever had to do. Uh, just because it's such a weird place to start from. You're starting with 240 cards, which is obviously six times more than, four times more than any other deck in, in modern. And it's like... Uh, it's really, really hard because you don't know the specifics. So like with a regular deck, you're like, I want about 24, 24 lands, uh, 36 other cards. Does that ratio still hold for Battle of Wits? How many removal spells do you want? How many counter spells do you want? How many removal and counter spells do you want in conjunction with other cards in your deck? Do you want other creatures in your deck? How many tutors do you want? It's a really hard configuration to like, to get right. Spazio, you gotta you gotta you gotta take me out to dinner first. You gotta wine and dine me, buddy. You can't just I can't just marry you like that, okay? I'm an old-fashioned magic player. Um But I mean, I think the deck is super fun and I think it's a great experiment to figure out those things. Um because sometimes you do just win out of nowhere with the battle of wits. There are like turn three and four tutors to get it, so you can play it on turn five. Um I just think you might want some other things going on in the deck. I like the glittering wish idea, but that I mean that requires a, a significant change to the mana base. Like you'd have to add green for that. Um, you'd also have to um, like also we do have so even the thing is like we can also add one of to the sideboard because we do have Masterminds Acquisition, right? So we don't actually just have to go with these. We can actually add a bunch of one ofs to the sideboard, like a dis like maybe like one disenchant. One I think I do like engineered explosives in the deck because it can be can be fetched by. Uh, Teleri Academy. So that is a good that is a good search target. That is a good transmute target for that guy. Bits for Battle of Wits. Thanks for showing the deck. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it, Doc. Um, but yeah, so like you you probably add one engineer explosives. Do you cut cards? I don't know. What's the greatest? So there were definitely times where we were going to play Battle of Wits and we only had like 220 or 210 cards in our deck. And I wonder if the game went on further if you're drawing more cards, if you'd still have 200. I think one of the goals is you don't want to be under 200. You don't want to force yourself to have to cast something like Elixir of Immortality when you, at the time, you get Battle of Wits. Because the deck has a really hard time winning otherwise. You know what I mean? Um, so I think you want to make sure you have enough cards. I don't know if there is like a statistical average like number of cards that people have found out that are, that are best in this deck. I'm not sure. There might be. Um, that might take more research on my end. But... You know, it's definitely an interesting deck, and I definitely think this. I think it's. I think it's one of the the more fun decks in modern, especially because of all the potential. You can literally just put anything you want in this deck, and it's probably going to be fine as long as you have enough uh, response cards. You know, enough ways to search for Battle of Wits, and enough ways to protect it. And I think this deck is sweet. So. You know, I, it's it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to give too many critiques because you really don't know which, like, you don't know what does and doesn't work, and it's really hard to play enough games to figure out, like, okay, that you definitely want Cygnus, and you definitely don't want Compulsive Research or something like that. So, I don't know. Either way, I had a good time. Hopefully, you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to check me out on Patreon or Twitch, you can find the links below. And also, if you want to get your deck critiqued by me at one point in time, that information is both on Patreon and on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.